Mercenaries linked to Margaret Thatcher's son were arrested on their way to launching a coup on March 7, 2004. Arrested in Zimbabwe while they waited for a substantial arms shipment, the 64 mercenaries claimed only to be the armed guards for international oil interests. But their trials later revealed a daring plot to kill or capture the long-serving president of the oil-rich nation of Equatorial Guinea, an exiled opposition leader, would then be sworn in as president. In exchange, the mercenaries would be paid a cash lump sum while their financiers received preferential oil rights worth hundreds of millions of dollars. The leading mercenary was a former member of the SAS and at the time a major private military contractor, Simon Mann. A letter Mann sent to his wife from prison was intercepted by investigators and mentioned the need for more wonga, money, and this became the name for the coup in the British press. It also asked for help from, among others, Scratcher, the unkind rhyming nickname for Mark Thatcher who had suffered badly from acne as a teen. According to evidence presented at Thatcher's subsequent trial and later corroborated by Mann, Thatcher had been brought into the coup to finance the purchase of two helicopters under the guise of buying air ambulances.